Okay, we've got a new product from Texas Instruments to look at on the show. What do we have, Felix? It's the TI DIY Amp Evaluation Module. So this is going to help us evaluate op amps? Yes, op amps, comparators, single supply, dual supply, take converters. A, take a look inside. All right, we have some documentation here. All right. The DIY Amp EVM is the world's most versatile populate and test amplifier evaluation module. And 12 popular amplifier configurations are supported. Oh, it tells us a website to go to. Well, we can check that is out. Is this something that can be developed with TI's WebBench software online? I'm sure we could probably do that. That's pretty cool. TI has software that allows you to select what integrated circuit is best for your application, and then it'll actually generate designs for you on the internet, and then you can be like, oh, that's how I hook up this particular integrated circuit to achieve this goal. Uh, didn't you use that for a project recently on the yeah, show? Yeah, it was a power supply. Um, oh, for yeah. the mini pinball kit. Yeah, and then you're like, hey, here's how much power I need, here's my voltage, here's how much I'm putting in, tell me what's best, TI. You know what, it even printed out, a, it gave me a schematic, uh, both in a PDF and a Eagle. Oh, really? Yeah. That's very cool. All right, what do we got here? All right, so we have some headers for some reason. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll set this aside. <coughs> and then, looks like it's just a circuit board. All right, it's got some nice anti-static foam here. But this board isn't populated, is it? Nope. So basically, let's look at this side. This side has all of our circuits on it. It's, it's actually the silk screen has our circuits on it. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, how many different op amp circuits are on here? Well, there's 32 breakaway boards, but mm -hmm. there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different circuits repeated four times. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Cool. And then on the other side, we have service mount components. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, so if you're trying to do something with a operational amplifier, instead of soldering up in a breadboard, which might not work quite right. This is already optimized for a PCB layout, so you will have less noise and other mm -hmm. transients affecting your design. So you can simulate it online using WebBench, but then when you're ready, you can use this evaluation model to test it in the real world. Cool. Yeah, um, it supports three different uh, uh, amplifier packages, uh, SC70, uh, SC75, and uh, SOIC8, and then also uh, SOT23.5. Most of these look like SOIC8. Yep, the, that's actually the model that we have. DIY oh, okay, SOC. so if you had different packages, you would get a completely different board for mm -hmm. that. Yep. Got it, got it. And uh, for the passive components, it supports 0805 or 0603. Okay, so there's actually three versions of this board. There's SC70, SOT23, and SOIC. And we have the SOIC version, mm -hmm. which is your typical surface mount eight pin package. Pretty cool. So yeah, um, it's easy to use. We can evaluate circuits in the real world and we can verify our simulations in minutes because it's always good when you do it for real. And these connectors here, these allow us to attach um, like BNC type connectors for input yep. and output. We have three different types of connection, SMA, header, or wire. Okay. We have a few of those plugs, don't we? Yep. Let's take a look. All right, so here are the SMA connectors. Cool. Oh yeah, these here must be the comparators, in and out, positive, negative. We haven't really used a lot of op amps on our show. I think the, probably the biggest use of it was our automatic puppet. You remember that? Yeah, we that we fun. did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that was our unboxing of the TI DIY Amp EVM evaluation modules for amplifiers. It's a really great set of miniature PCBs for developing amplifiers. Yeah, I mean, it's surface mount, it's really nice. Uh, we often use little breakout boards for other circuits like uh, SOIC 16, TSOP and whatnot, and those are really handy. Well, this is pretty much the same thing, but for amplifiers. So instead of trying to breadboard something and have a bunch of transient noise in your design, you can use something that's basically already designed to be the most optimal placement for your components and slap on your amplifier and go to town. And this is the SOIC8 version. Remember, there's also versions for SC70 and SOT23. Well, Felix, next time we need to design something with amplifiers, we have a whole bunch of little PCBs here to help us along with our design.